Hello guys, are you having trouble launching Valorant? You click to open it, but nothing happens. The game just won't start. Don't worry, in this video, I'll walk you through a few effective solutions that should help get Valorant running again. Just follow along step by step and we'll fix the issue together. Now here's what you need to do first. Start by completely closing Valorant. If it's open, exit the game and also exit Riot from the system tray icon. Next, right click on your taskbar and select task manager. Once it's open, go to Process tab and look for any processes named Valorant, Riot or Vanguard. If you see any of them still running, right click on each one and choose End Task. Once all related processes are closed, you can exit Task Manager and move on to the next step. Now, right click on the Valorant shortcut, show more options and select Open File Location. This will take you to the Valorant directory. From there, Go to Riot Games folder, then Valorant, Live folder, then Shooter Game folder, then Binaries, and then Win64 folder. Once you're inside the Win64 folder, scroll down and look for a file named Valorant-Win64-Shipping.x or similar. Right click on it and choose Properties. Then go to the Compatibility tab. In this tab, check the box that says Disable Full Screen Optimizations. Click Apply, then OK to save the changes. Now, you can close this window and proceed the next step. Open Windows Search and type Services into the search bar. Click on the Services app to open it. Once it's open, press the V key to quickly jump down the list and look for a service named VGC. When you find it, right click on VGC and select Properties. In the Startup Type dropdown, change it from Manual to Automatic. Then click Start to run the service. Once it's running, click Apply and then OK and close the services window. Now, open the Start menu again and search System Config. Now open the System Configuration window. Go to the Services tab and scroll down until you find VGC again. Make sure the checkbox next to it is checked. If it's unchecked, click the box to enable it. Then click Apply and then OK. If you're prompted to restart your computer to apply the changes, you can choose Exit without Restart for now. We'll restart the system after completing all the steps. Now press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog. In the box, type Percentage, App Data, Percentage and press OK. Once the File Explorer opens, click on App Data at the top, then navigate to the local folder. Look for Riot Games, open it, go to the Riot Client folder, then to the Data folder. Inside you'll find a file named Riot Games Private Settings, right click on it and select Rename. Add one to the end of the file name, then press Enter and confirm the rename by clicking Yes if prompted. Once that's done, you can close the File Explorer window. Next, open Device Manager by right click on Windows Start button and select Device Manager. Expand the Display Adapter section, right click on your graphics card, whether it's Nvidia, AMD Radeon or Intel and select Update Driver. Choose Search automatically for drivers to ensure you have the latest version installed. Once it finishes, close everything out. Now, the final step is right click on the Valorant game shortcut and select Properties. Go to the Compatibility tab and if the option Run this program as an administrator is checked, go ahead and uncheck it. Then click Apply, then click OK. Now, all that's left is to restart your PC. After the restart, launch Valorant again. It should start up properly without any issues. I hope this video helped you fix the Valorant not launching issue. If it did, be sure to hit that like button to support the channel, subscribe for more helpful tech tutorials and share it with anyone else who might be facing the same problem. If you have any questions or need further help, drop a comment below. I'm happy to assist. Thanks for watching and I will see you next video.